Creature Caster is doing it again. Spiking bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we've got more miniatures to show you. <laughs> so there might not be an Adepticon this year, which is really, really sad for a lot of people. But Creature Caster and other folks out there are still putting out great miniatures uh, into the spring months. So they sent over their uh, brand new releases. I actually, uh, we're about to take a look for the first time and see what's inside of these boxes, but I assume it's the new Death Elemental and perhaps their Patriarchs of Ruin, which are like the little Herald size uh, miniatures uh, for their Ruin uh, kind of a demon line. Of, uh, of figures here. So let's jump over to their website. I'll show you where eventually they will appear, but I'm sure they're not over there right now. <laughs> Although they have announced a bunch of sales in lieu of Adepticon happening. So make sure you check out uh, Creature Caster's Facebook, of course, Spiky Bits uh, for more on that as soon as it goes down. So here's their website. And like I said, uh, it doesn't have the new miniatures on it, unfortunately, but uh, we know basically where they're gonna be. And I strongly suspect we will know the price uh, when they come out. So you can always check out right here. Uh, you can follow them on their Creature Caster community Facebook page. They also have a, a community uh, little tab right here. And let's take a look at what I think the pricing will be uh, going into the new release lineup. So here's their most latest release, which we showed you recently. This is that, whoa, somebody's not happy. <laughs> I pick them up, they don't want to be held, they put them, put them down, they want to be held. I don't know anymore. Anyways, Creature Caster, the Lord of Sacrifice. So uh, the, the Death Elemental is probably going to be on the same price point as the Lord of Sacrifice. So it's probably going to be about $59 US. And if we scroll down and we look at the Matriarchs of uh, Ecstasy right here, they were the set of three kind of herald sized miniatures for $59. Chances are the Patriarchs of Ruin are going to be about the same price, three of them for $59 as well. Now, if you've never actually gotten a Creature Caster model in the, in the past, uh, their out-of-box experience is actually kind of cool. Like, they have these really nice uh, little, um, I guess, uh, branded boxes right here, which are, which are pretty cool, and sometimes it's just cool just to have them up on the shelf. And when you open it up, generally it's going to come in a uh, plastic bubble envelope uh, inside. Now, remember, these are kind of preview miniatures, so they're a little early, so that they're not going to be quite, you know, what you would normally get in here, and I've showed you some of that in the past. Um, but once you get its stuff out, you're going to notice that everything, you know, for the most part is protected with some, in some sort of bag or bubble or something like that. And the sprues themselves are all numbered. Uh, so it makes them putting, or it makes assembly a little bit easier these days. And here come the Chungos. <laughs> so these are the Patriarchs of Ruin. There's three different ones that come in the box set. Uh, it looks like at least one of them, and I don't know their names except for one of them we saw in a preview. I think this is the Biomancer of Ruin over here. So it looks like this one, we'll call him uh, Chungus, <laughs> Chungus of Ruin. He uh, he has two different size bases here, which it looks like his base just kind of goes on there and or goes on to this one separately, and it has this optional kind of... Um, I'm gonna be chopping somebody right there, I think. We'll take a closer look at this here in a second. And then you've got this one in the back that uh, he's using an Iron Maiden for some sort of uh, shield maybe, or uh, implement of uh, torture perhaps. So here's a close up of the details, and we'll show you a lot more once we get this assembled. But uh, but yeah, there's uh, this a lot going on here. It's got little slots for probably these uh, butcher, uh, butcher knives, I imagine, right over here. That yep, they look to have the slots, so that's probably how, where that all goes right there. Holding up the hands, I guess this is two different types of. Oh, I guess maybe you can put two different types of uh, of bases. That, oh, one that's already got its head cut off, maybe perhaps. I think that's what's happening right there. Oh, that's interesting. And then it looks like he's holding oh he might be holding them down with that with that hand right there that's pretty cool i dig that so there's two different size bases there so you can kind of create whichever version you want and then this guy over here this was the uh biomancer of ruin so he's got a lot going on this little super skinny leg right there and i don't know there's a lot of different tentacles and different things going on he's got his uh, disease uh, spice rack back here a little cloaked uh, i don't know what that is i guess that's a cloaked disease kind of helm thing up there. Very spooky. Uh, this is the, I don't know what this is. Parrot, iguana, Cthulhu iguana, Cth who knows what's going on right there. Uh, some heads and different things. 
and more tentacles and different bobs and areas. I, th I thought he had a staff too. I think he has a staff somewhere. I don't know. I might have got that mixed up. Maybe that's what all goes together right there. Either way, we'll check that out here in a second. And then uh, this is, I don't know. I don't know what model this is. We'll call him. Uh, we'll call him Chum Lee. This is Chum Lee, <laughs> and uh, uh, looking, uh, looking, uh, seen better days. Better days on Pawn Stars right there. Now he's on uh, Ruin Stars. So that is going to fit into that base right there. He's got a lot going on with this model. Very. Uh, it's almost like a diseased, post-apocalyptic kind of look. I feel like. Here's the Iron Maiden. I don't know what, how this goes, but we'll find out here in a second. Some sort of armor cape and a staff of is it a scythe of disease i don't know i don't know what's going on with this some ginormous cape and a shoulder pad with a little skull on it so we'll figure out exactly where all these things go here in a minute so here they are all assembled up the patriarchs of chungunis <laughs> so the uh the butcher's axe is definitely assembled onto there i really like the basing too once you get these guys on here it looks really great with all the skulls and everything and you can see the optional parts now this was i think this arm suffered if i recall correctly and the other base had a torso in the middle so if you just want to put the torso and the dude's actually looking down he's not beheaded so you can do these two different ones where he's actually holding on to the to the torso here and this dude's like kind of begging and then about to get the chops up there. So pretty crazy miniature. And this uh, is a 50 mil base. So again, you can assemble it without all that stuff on the front if you want on the 40 mil it looks like. And then this Jungo right here, uh, I didn't realize that was like some sort of like conch shell sort of thing that he's, I don't know, like crawled out of or, or something going on there. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot going on with this miniature. There's a lot going on. It's like a tribal, post-apocalyptic, ruinesque, biomancy i don't i don't know what's going on but there's there's a lot going on it's kind of cool you know nice detail chain work and you can tell you know what's like an armor or a shell sort of thing i didn't realize there was a little slot right here where it uh actually the iron maiden uh shield here actually attaches onto him so best use of a medieval torture device for personal defense uh, goes to this uh, guy right here and last but certainly not least is Mr. Biomancer right here. So he did have a staff. It was part of that little uh, Cthulhu iguana thing with a little banner hanging off. And like I said, very busy model, but I'm sure once you get in there and paint it, it would be kind of easy because it looks like the, the areas are kind of broken up and he's got his disease spice rack on the back. So he'd make a pretty cool, like counts as maybe like Festus Lich Lord or some sort of caster, maybe not in death side of things, but definitely on the uh, plague side of things right there. So that one's pretty cool now i do have a little surprise miniature to show you as well don't have it uh don't have it in pieces unfortunately but this little guy he's one of my new faves <laughs> this is the patriarch of onslaughts and we know there's probably at least two more of him coming to complete the set of three so he's got the double axes crazy horns right there so he's definitely a uh a, maybe a countess skull taker or perhaps a, a herald of corn or just, you know, the Patriarch of Onslaught. So you can paint them up. Uh, all demons pretty much have their same themes all, all kind of together right there. And the base is uh, expertly done as well with all sorts of skulls and different things uh, for you to paint up and really kind of accent. Maybe make them uh, glowing, kind of uh, red hot magma perhaps. Oh, and real quick, here's how they compare it to a Primaris Space Marine. So on a 32 mil base, like I said, 40s. And this guy right here was a big fat 50 mil right there. And here is the Death Elemental all laid out with all its parts. And there's a little optional baggie of uh, bits right here. Now I've seen some of the artwork, so I kind of have an idea of the options for this one right here. It looks like there's a sword, uh, you can do the scythe, and there's some sort of like a uh, flail or like Morningstar kind of configuration right here. Although I'm not 100% sure, because I don't have the instructions quite yet, but that's okay. Uh, we'll figure it out there's no worries there and then uh like some optional small parts looks like uh some of the arms maybe there's only one arm no it looks like there's oh that's his uh left arm it looks like and some other small parts that i don't want to lose out of the bag here quite yet <laughs> i'll wait till assembly to, to lose those and since we're not gonna assemble all of the different variants i wanted to show you some of the detail on maybe some of the things we won't so this is some sort of uh i guess this is a sword that's a flaming sword or a mystical sword that's literally breaking apart 
or perhaps it's shooting some sort of releasing some sort of energy shard i don't i don't know it looks pretty dope though i haven't seen a flaming sword like that in the past and then here's part of the the scythe uh to the death of Lamona here now a lot of this is uh, mechanical like this is or maybe biomechanical like this is his shoulder pad right here so it's definitely got that kind of necron but also like you know that death specter kind of feel to it too and then this looks like um i'm not exactly sure what this is quite yet i think i think he might be mounted to this like there's because there's no legs so maybe he's appearing through this little uh stargate kind of uh portal thing here and he's got all his little minion duders we'll call them creature caster meeples <laughs> uh all around him and then of course lots of swirlies in every direction oh here's the here's the other it's like a some sort of flail or morning star kind of lantern weapon of some sorts maybe it's a censure i can't really tell but it's pretty dope looking and here's creature caster's vision of death all assembled up with that crazy biomechanical looking flaming scythe sort of thing. I like the different directions you can go with this with, you know, you can do it ethereal or ethereal, whichever one is uh, the correct term, or you can do flames, you could do purples, you could do greens, you could do blues, like it's pretty much sky's the limit here. It's, it's almost like this model is a palette, so to speak. Now, how big is it? Cause you realize that my hand is almost as big as the model itself. I do have oversized hands, I feel like, but maybe not. Uh, so this model right here is about six and a half inches tall, give or take. So pretty much on par with their, their Lord series of uh, miniatures there. And you can see it is coming out through the portal, doing that little Stargate kind of trip or drip, I guess, uh, kind of through the thing right there. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's whew, there's a lot going on with this model. Let's zoom in and, uh, well, let's give you a size comparison too. So we served you six inches. Here is Fatesy, if I can pick them up. There's so many little spiky bits on it, pun intended. Uh, <laughs> so here's a Fate Weaver. Here's how he sizes up to Fate Weaver. So not necessarily a good replacement maybe for something like Nagash, but maybe like the uh, Mortarks or something like that. And Sigmar, if that's your thing, I would feel like it'd make a good Satan in Necrons. That would be pretty dope if you really wanted to go that route too. We'll kind of see what they continue doing with the, the whole Death series there. Here's a little bit more of a closer look. You can see all the intricate detail and the, uh, the little uh, Necron Stargate back there, I guess you could call it, and all the wisp and everything kind of going around. Now I put this together, you know, really quick. So there are some gaps, but if you ever have problems with gapping, you can always use that Vallejo plastic putty to tighten it up. Now you can see a better look at the scythe and it does have the kind of curved uh, look to it like you would kind of imagine. And uh, lots going on with the base. I mean, it's very textured, but there isn't, I mean, you can tell it's rocky, so you could do it like Martian, you could do it like, uh, you know, Moon, you can, whatever you want to do right there. You, you just complement colors off the, the little wisp right there, I feel like. Um, you know, as far as uh, what, I, I, I'm not really sure. This is a 60 mil base, right? So you could definitely use it for a lot of different things and equip it a lot of different ways right there. Um, but you know, there is definitely a lot of detail going on. So I kind of appreciate how this is a little bit more muted, a little bit more dull, and you could use this to kind of offset the colors, uh, that you kind of paint it there. And then you can see on the face area and stuff, you got this, uh, like I said, it's a little biomechanical when it comes to these parts right here, but the rest of it is very much organic and a kind of an interesting take. It's got this, um, sort of Batman utility belt right here. Maybe it's like a focusing, some sort of transportation or locomotion that he's kind of projecting out of his uh, torso area right here and then he's of course the typical Grim Reaper kind of uh, hooded executioner kind of type deal right there and he's got some wisps coming off the back as well so very cool model lots going on it, you know it definitely tells a story it's not just a model and it's it's almost like it's a piece of art along with a model so it's just like hey paint me what you know what's your vision paint me it's pretty dope I like it so once again, I think Creature Caster has a great new lineup of miniatures, and this isn't even the tip of the iceberg. Apparently there's gonna be some Adepticon exclusives for sale uh, too on their website here in the near future. You know, obviously check check out their Facebook, check out their website, creaturecaster.com, um, for more announcements and such as these things, you know, go live because it's a very interesting time right now in the world. And, uh, you know, I, I think everything's just kind of touch and go as far as uh, retail and uh, folks being at work and stuff right now. So uh, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching our unboxing review of the new Creature Caster miniatures for 2020. The Patriarchs of Ruin, the Death Elemental, and of course, a preview, super sneaky preview of the new Patriarch of Onslaught as well. 
Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.